to this earth realm. Right. I'm not just limited to what this earth affords me. Right. But I got a hope that goes beyond this world. Yes. See, that's why the Apostle Paul could say things such as in 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. Yes. Somebody else that's going to at least give them an explanation, but it's not, it might not be a biblical one. 
And so unfortunately, now they've gotten something else in their head that does not necessarily line up with scripture, but they have an explanation and they may lean more towards that explanation because you haven't given them one. They wanted an answer. Give them an answer. If you don't know today, guess what? We're going to both work on this thing. We're going to both work on this and we'll come back and we'll find an answer for this. But put the, put the music out there. Hey, there's so much subject matter that the Bible deals with. Pull up the song. And some of the stuff that we listen to that we call, that we call gospel, you know what? It was inspirational maybe. But it wasn't really gospel. They didn't even say Jesus in it. They didn't even say that. The husband gospel. is responsible to provide education for the wife. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 5. And I know there's a dirty word in there called submission. But that word, that word impacts men and women. You know, Paul says we need to submit to one another. What is submitting? It's just doing God's will according to the way God defines it. Amen. And we have different roles that are complementary. And when they complement together, they are a great winner. She is also called in that passage a word that refers to, in the culture of that day, the highest and the most important advisor to the king. And so we as men need to understand, we need to listen with discernment when we hear from our wives. But when you make a decision, we need the wives to be supportive and respectful. 